retired Chief Justice of Nigeria and Vice Chairman, Body of Ventures, Justice Ariwola, Grand Commander of the Order of the Niger, my Lord, the former Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Walter Onogen, Grand Commander of the Order of Niger, my Lord, retired Justices of the Supreme Court and Court of Appeal that are here, the former Attorney General Minister of Justice, our dear leader Chief Kanu Agabi, Commander of the Order of the Niger, my Lord, the former Chief Judge of the Federal Capital Territory, who is uh, Justice Bello, Life Ventures and Ventures, our dear leaders, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Chairman, let me, on behalf of the Fire Capital Territory, most sincerely thank you and the benchers and live benchers that have come out here today in support of this program. When I came in here, I saw the array of leaders in the legal profession and the retired justices of the Supreme Court and the Chief Justices of Nigeria. I was overwhelmed that indeed this program is really appreciated. And I so much thank you for that. Mr. Chairman, let me also thank you for educating some people who may not understand about cooperation between the three arms of government. Like Ratley said, as we speak today, it is the federal capital territory that is providing the official residence of the legislature. That is a different arm of government. But it is the FCT that is providing their residence. As we speak today, it is the FCT that is building the new complex of the National uh, Assembly. That has nothing to do with interference of the arm of uh, government. At the end of the day, the project will be handed over to the uh, uh, legislature for them to manage. I'm very grateful thanking the president for approving this project. It's a project, Mr. President took this project to the National Assembly and he has sent it to reach November 8, 2023, after the National Assembly has passed the supplementary budget. So this project is provided and the supplementary budget of the FCT 2023 as assented to Mr. President November 8, 2023. So it is obvious that there's nothing hidden. But for the procurement process, by now we should have been talking about the refill of this uh, project. But of course, it takes you four, five, six months before the procurement process is being uh, completed. But I can assure you that this is not one of those public projects where you say that you have started and the project is being abandoned. No, this project must be completed in 10 months' time. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, like I also said, the same time this project was approved, Mr. President was approved providing other infrastructure in Nigerian Law School. On Monday, we'll be in Nigerian Law School. Well, flag a project about 10 residential buildings for the lecturers of Nigerian Law School. Because we felt that it's a public school owned by the government and they lack basic infrastructure. And the President said, look, this has to be done. And he approved for the construction of more residential buildings for the lecturers, which will be flagged off on Monday. And that also will be completed in 10 months' uh, time. The money is there as soon as if uh, uh, it's a project that has no budget. At least we have 70 to 80 percent of the funds required for this uh, project. I want to say the time, Mr. President, for each time you talk about what can enhance the legal profession, he has always given that support. And so I want to thank him for that. And I know, and like you said, you have requested for a fire service station. Let me just say this clearly. I've called the director of engineering that should make sure that that is provided in our 2025 budget. 
you can take this for granted. By 2025, we are going to establish a fire service station within this uh, complex. I'm happy as a lawyer, as a venture, that people will ask, when you had the opportunity, when you were in the office, what was your contribution to the development of legal uh, education? What is your contribution to the judiciary? You know, it is easy to criticize when you are outside. But when you are given an opportunity and they ask you, what did you do? I will say, yes, as a minister of health city, I was able to contribute this. As a minister of health city, I was able to do this. And I will go home happy. And I want to assure the body of ventures, I will make you proud and you will see a difference as far governance is uh, concerned. I'm not going to be the one that flag off this project. Luckily, when the former CGM was in office, Justice uh, Ariwala, he flagged off the new division of the Abuja, uh, the Abuja division of the Economic of Appeal, which by the grace of God will be handed over to them next year, September 2. We believe today is how God has made things. The chairman who is the initiator of this project is here today, we are flagging up. And the person taken over from him, who is the vice chairman, former CJN, will be the one that will be here when they will commission it. And so, I will allow him to be the one that will lay the foundation of this uh, uh, project. I cannot be, he cannot be here while I'm laying the foundation. He should lay the uh, foundation. All number to give to whom or not is uh, do. My dear brothers and sisters, I thank you on behalf of my wife for the honor. For me, I, 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 I can tell you today, I'm very, very happy, highly elated that you gave me this honor. This honor will propel us to do more for the legal uh, profession. The good thing about us, you know, as a politician, you must have thick skin. I have thick skin. I don't even hear what people say. I don't even see those who are saying, and I can't reply. Three signals a politician must always have. One, you can't see. Two, you can't talk. Three, you can't hear. Even here. Those who are saying it, you don't even see. And because I can't talk, I cannot uh, reply. I'll go ahead and continue to do my work to the best of the country. That is all I can do. So on this note, I invite the chairman, invite the former two uh, Supreme Court, I mean the uh, Justice of the, uh, of the Federation, to come and lay the foundation of this project and also our leaders of the, of the leaders of the body to join them to lay this foundation. By the time we finish, like just Saboki has said, retired, it will be a thing of joy for this body that yes, indeed, we have this type of uh, facilities. If there's anything more you want us to do, do not hesitate, we will do it. This is our turn to do it. Thank you and God bless you.